You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to be talking about the Gorilla Quad antenna. Many of you have been asking me about this pistol grip antenna that you sometimes see in my videos. Well, as many of you know, this video has been in the pipe for a long time, but I wanted to get it out there. So what I've done is I've created two different versions of this antenna now, the original three element version, and in addition to that, a single element version as well. So these antennas can be used in a variety of different applications and have pretty high performance as well. In order to get started, you're gonna need a few basic tools that you probably have around the house already. A drill, a saw, knife, measuring type, and a soldering iron. Additionally, you're gonna need some wire, some zip ties, some sticks or fiberglass poles, and a coaxial cable. Quite honestly, guys, you can put this thing together with anything that's non-metallic. So regardless of which of these you're going to build, either the one element or the multi-element, the driven element is common to both antennas. So that's where we're going to start. First things first, we're going to start off by calculating the length of the driven element for the frequency that you want your antenna to use. Once you have that measurement, go ahead and make a template that we'll use to lay out the spreaders for the antennas. Then using your template, make your marks and drill your holes. Pay attention here guys, the driven element is left open on the left or right side of the antenna in order to create the feed point. The center conductor of your coax will go to one end and the shield to the other. For the multi-element version, the reflector and the director are closed loops. So just to prove the point of the gorilla nature of this antenna, I've made my spreaders for the multi-element version out of spruce tree sticks. But what I'm really excited about is to see how you make yours. So if you decide to make one of these, share it with the rest of us, send me a link and I'll put a link to it on my video. What would be most interesting is seeing how you build yours and seeing the look on other people's faces when you test the performance of yours. So let's lock down this video guys. I left out a lot of pieces of this video so that people would ask questions in the comments. Please do that. This helps to get people thinking and experimenting on their own. And more importantly, don't worry about getting it right and looking perfect the first time. After two or three of them, they'll look store-bought. And that brings us to the end of the video guys. So if you think I'm doing a good job and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. Rock and roll guys, thanks for watching. Ciao.